MovieWeb.com. This is uh, welcome to Rest Stop Two. Um, this is the interior of the who's a character called the owner, garage owner, played by Steve Railsback. And uh, we shot the exterior uh, on location. Of course, had to run from uh, the wildfires in California, right. which was crazy. So we actually have pictures of our set, which is the exterior of this, with smoke, you know, 100 yards behind it. It was oh, crazy. Oh, that adds to it. So we were all running. <laughs> um, so yeah, no, it's very exciting. Uh, this is where a couple of our characters are going to meet their fate. They meet the driver again from the first movie in here, are brought here, uh, uh, and this, you know, for more, uh, a little torture and a little uh, same kind of rest stop fun that, you know, we know and love. The, you know, to us, the, the, the world of rest stop was starting in the first movie, and the first movie, you know, really just dealt with the rest stop and right around there. In the second movie, we wanted to expand, we wanted to expand the mythology, we wanted to get bigger. Right. And so now we have what we call the sort of the Bermuda Triangle. We have a motel, uh, you know, you, you, on the old highway. You have a gas station, which is this location, and then you have the rest stop. And so once you enter that, you know, you're you're in, in trouble. This, yeah, this is um, again an expanding the world of rest stop. We learned that the driver. We learn a lot about the driver in, in the next book. We learn how he started, how he came to be the sort of vengeful spirit that he is. In a the prologue, backstory. we get the backstory, uh, which involves our friends, the Winnebago family. You remember them? Our, right. Our favorite family. <laughs> um, but the, the meat of the movie is about a brother searching for his brother, Jesse, from the first movie. So Tom, played by Richard Tillman, is, is on the road and enters this Bermuda Triangle, kind of, in search of his brother. And he finds him. He finds him and under he finds himself on the bus, as you recall, the bus where the, the driver brings his victims. But then he discovers the driver has uh, a secret dungeon, basically. And he's parked it over, the, he's at an oil derrick, and he's parked it over his storage room. And that's what this is. And this is where he keeps his special victims. And in fact, we find Jesse in this cage right here. Um, and uh, uh, Tom, Richard Tillman's character, rescues him from this phase. He shot several torture scenes inside the bus. Yeah, it's, it, it's a rental, it's a movie bus. In fact, it was just used in Indiana Jones 4 for oh. our movie, which is kind of cool to think yeah. that Harrison and Shia were wandering around on this bus, and then the next week we're drilling people on it. <laughs> um, but it, we had to give it back because we were doing another production. So it was here the uh, last few days on stage, we were shooting inside it. It was basically recreated for the first movie. Uh, that's, that's what's left of it now. It's, what's different in the new movie is um, we get to see the bathroom both clean and pristine and restored, but then when you're in the Bermuda Triangle, you're kind of in like, a, everything's like a ghost ship. And so it's like, at one point they come in and it's all like it was when, when Nicole got killed, which is really creepy. So um, this is the creepy version, obviously. It, 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 this is yeah. the new one? Wow. Should just like my bathroom at home. Exactly. So are you going to do a rest stop three? I hope so. Uh, Turn this into a franchise? I, I, you know, we, we, we were conscious uh, as I wrote the script. I, I made sure that I left enough clues and things in there that the franchise right. could continue and that mythology on. can even go further, you know. Because uh, uh, people seem to be responding to it and I love it. Uh, we're having a ball, so. Is it gorier than the first one? It has, it's, it's gorier than the first one. Uh, it has, it's different than the first one. And then, you know, the first movie, you weren't sure that he was a ghost. You weren't sure what was going on. By the end of it, you kind of had some answers and that Nicole ends up to be a ghost trapped in the closet, as you recall. Right. So in this movie, it was much more of a ghost story, too. And so there's a lot of suspense involved with, with, with basically, you've got all these ghosts surrounding you and you can't escape, you know. So it's, it's very different in that sense, and that there, there's still, there, you know, the driver is still the driver, and there's still a, a great amount of war going on. Right. But, but it's a lot more of a ghost story than the first movie, which is really interesting. Well, what do you think was the hardest part about making the restaurant too? I think the hardest part, honestly, was because it's a sequel, and because we went into it with the idea that we didn't want to just do the, new, the, the same movie with different victims, so to right. speak, um, was that it had to be bigger. It had to be we had to we have instead of just the main of the rest stop like we were saying, you have the rest stop, you have a gas station, you have a hotel, making the world bigger, but we don't have that much more money to do it. And so the real challenge was how, how do we expand the world? Expand the world, and, and because we want to reward the people who 
come back to it. I mean, so I had so you know grateful to the fans the first movie, and then but you got you got to give them more in the second movie. 